Hi, welcome to Somi Spotlight. Today we're here with Ruth Wieson, Artistic Director for Armor Dance Theater right here in Somi. And Ruth, uh, welcome to Somi Spotlight where we feature businesses in our community. Uh, we'd love to learn a little bit more about Armor Dance Theater. It has such a great legacy story. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Armor Dance Theater. Thank you so much and thank you for featuring us. Um, Armor Dance Theater is about to celebrate its 75th anniversary. It was founded by Thomas Armour, who uh, is actually from Tampa, Florida. And as a young man, he went to Paris to study with the Paris Opera Ballet. And after that, he joined the Ballet Russe in Europe, which was like the premier company in the world. Uh, and then World War II hit. So he was, um, his career was interrupted by the war. He went into uh, intelligence. He spoke both French and English, and so he was very useful in that part of the country. And then when the war ended, you know, the art scene in Europe was kind of decimated. So he came back to Florida, uh, and in 1949, he started this organization. Back then, it was called the Miami Conservatory, which a lot of the uh, students who traveled through here um, would know it by. And the performing arm of it was called the Miami Ballet. So because we're so old, we have grandchildren, right? People are bringing their kids and even great-grandchildren. So our legacy goes way, way back. We've served many generations of Miami families. That's a fascinating story. And uh, I was born in Tampa, Florida, so I, okay. I definitely connect with that. Um, and, and in looking at some of your materials, uh, certainly uh, part of your mission is enriching you know, children's lives through, through dance theater. And how, how many children do you serve currently? So this is our main site, um, but we also have five community programs across the county. We have two in the north and three in the south. And in those programs, we do everything we do here. We do it for free, and we also add academics. We do math, reading, social emotional skills building, nutrition, parent engagement, performance opportunities, everything. Um, and that is funded by the Children's Trust. So it's a huge, we've turned into this huge program, much bigger than the little kernel that Mr. Armour started with. It's just, it bloomed beautifully over 75 years. So altogether, we serve close to 1,000 children. That's fascinating. And certainly uh, from the standpoint of uh, the type of programming that you have is pretty diverse even within dance. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Sure, one of our main goals um, about Gosh, 30 years ago, we, um, New World School of the Arts started, and we thought this is gonna be incredible because Miami-Dade has this incredible magnet program. And so the magnets are across the entire county. So kids from the magnet program are gonna to go to New World School of the Arts, and it's gonna be a high school that really reflects the diversity of our community. But what happened, as always, it was about money. So the kids who went to the magnet programs, but who had enough money to also go to take dance classes after school, were more competitive in the process, and they were the ones getting into New World. So I went to Mr. Armour, and I said, listen, you have some spots in your classrooms. Can I fill them with kids who, for whom tuition would be a financial challenge for their parents? And he said, fine, fine, whatever you want, just get out of my office, basically. And so we set about to do that. And the very next year, the freshman class of New World School of the Arts looked completely different and began to reflect the diversity of our community. So that was over 30 years ago. Uh, we realized that we could only reach a certain number of kids to come here to the SOMI site um, if they were in this radius or if they were old enough to get on public transportation. So it's fascinating to know that right here in Soma, in South Miami, uh, we have such a legacy type business serving so many children, but obviously has tentacles throughout our uh, greater Miami area. Um, from a dance standpoint, what type of dance uh, instruction would children receive here? So this, our roots are deep in classical ballet, and that's what it was for many, many years. But over the last few decades, we have offered, um, we've added and enriched our programming. So now they get contemporary. Um, they actually get Horton style contemporary, which is the style of the Alvin Ailey Company, because our teacher, Kelly Robotham, was in the Ailey Company. So we teach the kids Horton style contemporary. They get tap, they get hip hop, they get flamenco. What am I missing? And they get ballet. Okay, age range? Um, age range is from 
I say it's from two to 102. So we take mom, we have mommy and me for infants, or, you know, two year olds. And upstairs right now, if you were to go upstairs, you would see a class that's filled with lifelong dancers. So some of them are in their 80s. So I still have hope. You still have hope. Just right? need to be able to stretch Exa a little. Exactly. Flexibility is very overrated. Better to be strong. That's what I say about hair. I think it's overrated. Uh, that's fascinating. And you yourself have a long tenure uh, with the company, right? Yes, yes. I've been, gosh, since 1986. That's fascinating. Well, it says a lot about the organization. And from the standpoint of anything uh, unique story, right? And certainly Mr. Armour's story is very unique in how this was founded. But anything that, that's very unique uh, in, in, in this, you know, 30-year uh journey that you've had with armor, anything that stands out that you would say fun, unique, different? Um... I, think, I think what sets us apart, and you know, I always say I didn't have a grand vision when I started out. I just said, oh, these kids need classes. Um, but what we've learned along the way is that we're not, the goal is not to create professional dancers. The goal is to give students the very best dance education they can. And in learning an art form, they gain these crucial life skills of discipline, focus, attention to detail, teamwork, and like I said, the ability to delay gratification. So they learn that it takes 10 years to begin to master a skill. And when they graduate from high school, they do really, really well because they know how to manage their time. They know that it takes 10 years to master a skill, so graduate school is not so daunting to them. Um, and some of them do go into professional companies, as, as hard as that is, some of them do, but the majority of them are professions. So I think that sets us apart in that we're not saying to the kids, our messaging is, if you don't become a professional dancer, you will break my heart, right? That's not what this is about. Mm -hmm. It's about creating dancers for life, really. Um, and I think the other thing that sets us apart is that we realized very early on that there's obstacles in the path along the way to success. And it could be anything from a child who needs contact lenses to perform on stage to immigration issues. And so across all six sites, we, we have families that come to us and say, listen, I have this problem and I don't know if my child can continue coming to dance because of it. Well, we have a partner for almost any problem somebody could bring me. Uh, I now know how to demolish a house and who to call. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fascinating that, that your focus is uh, sort of a well-rounded child, and, and yes. certainly the skills are transferable uh, throughout their lives. Uh, you know, very unique, too, uh, as an accreditation that this organization has, and if you can just touch on that, because I really think that the validation by peers is, is huge. Yes. Um, our former board director was Daniel Lewis, who was the founding dean of dance at New World School of the Arts. And Danny came to me and he said, you know, you really need to be accredited. I'm like, accredited? He's like, yeah. He goes, it's not that big a deal. It's like a grant. You've written grants before. So I said yes. And it took two years and it was very difficult. But we, we, we passed and we have accreditation. So what accreditation means is that there is an, uh, an accrediting organization that comes in and they look at every layer of your organization, from your teachers to your parents, to your website, to your financial responsibility, to your curriculum and your syllabi. So they look at everything and they spend a week here. First you deliver this packet that's about this thick. And then they come and they spend a week here and they talk to every member of your organization. And then you get accredited. So, <laughs> so we can you know, pin that on our label. Well, probably. congrats. I mean, that's a, a great accomplishment. And uh, uh, Ruth, we're very fortunate to have uh, Armor Dance a Company and, and here right in South Miami and uh, with such a legacy business. So we appreciate it and certainly uh, we want the community to know what a special organization this is. So we, we thank you for it and we thank you for tuning in to uh, Somi Spotlight and featuring another great business here in South Miami. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been Thanks, a pleasure. Rose.